My name's Lon Naylor. I'll be your host. Uh, let's see, Sean Bengen has a question. He says, Lon, I'm creating an instructional video course and would like to replicate this embedded talking head. Do you know how this is done? Looks quite simple. Looks like he has a YouTube video here. Well, let's take a quick look. Okay, I'm going to mute this. Oh, it's Katrina. And Katrina's little talking head kind of thing going on here. Do you know how this is done? Looks quite simple, says Sean, and yes, it certainly is. Uh, you could absolutely do this kind of thing with Camtasia. Camtasia is actually geared for this. She looks like she's using just kind of a webcam setup. So if you have a webcam in your Camtasia recorder, when you go to record your screen, as she is recording her screen here, certainly her website, you can choose to also capture your webcam, right? Now, what that's going to do is it's going to create a separate video track inside your recording for the camera video, right? And what Katrina has cleverly done here is in Camtasia, she has resized that video and it looks like she put a little drop shadow on it and those are effects that you can add to elements in Camtasia so for example here I have a video camera clip okay and if I just resize this right then this could be kind of a talking head type of a scenario uh, so anyway I did that and if we click on the element what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go to the visual properties of this element on the more tab visual properties and I think I can put a drop shadow there we go so now we got a little drop shadow action so in essence this clip right here when I bring in this screen recording if I've recorded with my webcam I'm gonna have a clip like this okay I'm gonna have a video clip which is the webcam capture and in addition to that I'm going to have the audio track and I'm also going to have my screen capture clip so you know it all kind of comes in together but that's basically how she does that really kind of a, a nice little thing and another trick that I kinda like to use if I'm using a talking head and I I do recommend using talking heads because if we're looking to establish credibility trust and rapport right then certainly being able to see a person is a nice thing. Now I'm going to be curious to see uh, it looks like she mixes things up a little bit here and I'm just thumbing through. I think she's definitely using Camtasia. It looks like we got a flip transition here but you'll notice she actually moved the head. Uh, I guess maybe it made a little more sense with the real estate she's trying to capture here. So you can absolutely do that in Camtasia as well. So at some future point in the video, okay, I could simply click on this and again in visual properties I could say add animation and then just move it. Okay, so now the video is going to play. So I'm going to be talking, talking, talking and then it's going to move over here, right? So you can do stuff like that. And one other point that I'll make here is that I like the aspect of a talking head, but I don't necessarily like it all the time, okay? Make an entrance, make a statement, maybe even go full screen with this, and then cut to your screen capture and kind of back and forth type of thing. But, you know, these little... I don't know, lecture kind of dealies where the person is just constantly yammering in the corner or whatever, I think is, I don't know, it, to me it just doesn't seem quite as professional. A pro, or if you watched a documentary, right, think of it this way, watch a documentary on TV, do they have a little talking head dude down in the bottom? No, they don't, hardly ever. What they do is they cut from talking to whatever else. So that's kind of a tip, just something to consider. I'm not saying you have to do that or anything like that, so don't freak out and get me wrong there. And uh, I, it looks nice here. I like the way she goes to some slide content. And now we're into a website capture here. 
And yeah, so she does a good job there, I think, of including that personability, that personal connection, using a bit of talking head, right? Here she's kind of drowsy and asleep, but you get the idea. And uh, those are just a couple of the tips that I would have is to not necessarily use the lecture box, but it's great content to have. So hopefully, Sean, that kind of answered some of your question. Let me know if it did. Oh, how did she add her name at the bottom? Right. Okay. Simple. Right. We're in Camtasia. We have an awesome tool right here. So I have an element. This is my video camera element. Well, I could certainly add a call out. So let's go to our call outs. I'm just going to add a call out here. And instead of this dude, I'm going to make it a text call out. Okay, so now I can add whatever kind of text I want. And we'll make it big. Right? So there you go. You can do stuff like that. So, of course, the call out would come in whenever I want the text to appear and just have it there for the duration that I have my clip. Right? And so, certainly, you can format this any way you want. You can change the font. You can change the colors and all that good stuff. Nice. Sean says we got it. So we nailed that one. All right. 